Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Evening Prayer. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God is spirit, and those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to offer him praise and thanksgiving, to hear and receive his word, to bring before him the needs of the world and to seek his grace. That through his son, Jesus Christ, we may give ourselves to his service. Jesus said the first commandment is listen, Israel. The Lord our God is the only Lord. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And so in a moment of stillness, we reflect on the words of those commandments. We rejoice at the times where we have been able to keep them and we bring before God the times where we have failed to keep them. So let us confess our sins to the Father and seek his pardon and peace. Almighty and merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word and deed. We have not loved you with all our heart and we have not loved others as Christ loves us. We are truly sorry. In your mercy, forgive us. Help us to amend our lives that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in goodness, and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Worship the Lord. All praise to his name. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. And we say together the evening canticle, the Fossilarum. O gracious light, through a brightness of the ever living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the evening light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. Our psalm this evening is Psalm 80, verses 1 to 7. Hear us, shepherd of Israel, you who lead Joseph like a flock, you who sit enthroned between the cherubim, shine forth before Ephraim, Benjamin, and Manasseh. Awaken your might, come and save us. Restore us, O God, make your faith shine on us, that we may be saved. How long, Lord God Almighty, will your anger smoulder against the prayers of your people? You have fed them with the bread of tears. You have made them drink tears by the bowlful. You have made us an object of derision to our neighbours, and our enemies mock us. Restore us, God Almighty, make your faith shine on us, that we may be saved. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. And a reading from the book of Exodus, chapter 15, beginning of the first verse. Then Moses and the Israelites sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted. Both horse and driver he has hurled into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my defence. He has become my salvation. He is my God, and I will praise him. My father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army he has hurled into the sea. The best of Pharaoh's officers and drowned are drowned in the Red Sea. The deep waters have covered them. They sank to the depths like a stone. Your right hand, Lord, was majestic in power. Your right hand, Lord, shattered the enemy. 
in the greatness of your majesty, you threw down those who oppressed you. You unleashed your burning anger. It consumed them like stubble. By the blast of your nostrils, the waters piled up. The surging waters stood up like a wall. The deep waters congealed in the heart of the sea. The enemy boasted, I will pursue. I will overtake them. I will divide the spoils. I will gorge myself on them. I will draw my sword and my hand will destroy them. But you blew with your breath and the sea covered them. They sank like lead in the mighty waters. Who among the gods is like you, Lord? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in glory, working wonders? You stretch out your right hand and the earth swallows your enemies. In your unfailing love, you will lead the people you have redeemed. In your strength, you will guide them to your holy dwelling. The nation, nations will hear and tremble. Anguish will grip the people of Philistia. The chiefs of Edom will be terrified. The leaders of Moab will be seized with trembling. The people of Canaan will melt away. Terror and dread will fall on them. By the power of your arm, they will be as still as a stone. Until your people pass by, Lord, until the people you brought pass by. You will bring them in and plant them on the mountain of your inheritance. The place, Lord, you made for your dwelling, the sanctuary, Lord, your hands established. The Lord reigns forever and ever. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Together we say the Gospel Canticle, the Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour, who has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. God has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. The Lord has shown strength with his arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. God has filled the hungry with good things and has sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We say together the song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to reveal you to the nations and to give glory to your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our New Testament reading is from the Gospel of Christ according to John, chapter 10, beginning at verse 1. Very truly I tell you, Pharisees, anyone who does not enter the sheep pen by the gate, but climbs in by some other way, is a thief and a robber. The one who enters by the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens the gate for him, and the sheep listen to his voice. He calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes on ahead of them, and his sheep follow him because they know his voice. But they will never follow a stranger. In fact, they will run away from him because they do not recognise a stranger's voice. Jesus used this figure of speech, but the Pharisees did not understand what he was telling them. Therefore, Jesus said again, very truly, I tell you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who have come before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep have not listened to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved. They will come in and go out and find pasture. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep. 
So when he sees the wolf coming, he abandons the sheep and runs away. Then the wolf attacks the flock and scatters it. The man runs away because he is hired a hired hand and cares nothing for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. Just as the father knows me and I know the father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that are not of this sheep pen. I must bring them also. They too will listen to my voice, and there shall be one flock and one shepherd. The reason my father loves me is that I lay down my life only to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down on my own accord. I have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again. This command I received from my father. The Jews who heard this were again divided. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We say together the song of Simeon, the Nunc Dimittis. Lord, now you have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen your salvation, which you have prepared for all the world to see. A light to reveal you to the nations and to give glory to your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. We affirm our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again, he ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection and the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of all our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our Redeemer. Today's psalm, Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock. It always reminds me of the glorious Advent Matins Responsory. Christians traditionally speak of the Psalms as a mirror in which we can see reflected what Athanasius of Alexandria, writing in the fourth century, called the movements of the soul. The Psalms, I'm sure you would agree, are highly relatable. Yet it's a paradoxical mirror in that beholding our reflection here also changes us, drawing us into the likeness of Christ, our true identity. What are we asking for when we pray with the psalmist, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved? At different times, different things will be at the forefront of our minds. Just as at different periods, periods of biblical history, those who prayed this psalm had varying concerns. And so what are our concerns today? What are we to be saved for? And what are we to be saved from? And there's space here for all manner of cries from the human heart. Yet wherever we may begin in our pleas to God today, the psalm doesn't leave us there. In verse 9, the perspective shifts somewhat. And we're no longer speaking of ourselves and our present troubles but of a vine, an image that embraces centuries of history and sketches a somewhat intimate relationship between God and God's people. What matters then is not so much our suffering in isolation, but the fracturing of that relationship. What matters is the vine, which is God's people across the generations, and also somehow one person, the Son of Man, you have made so strong for yourself. Verse 18. We know that our restoration, our illumination and our salvation depend on this vine. And therefore we cry out with the psalmist, 
in security as well as in longing for however bruised it may be god will never forsake us and so we pray faithful shepherd of your people as we look for the light of your countenance restore in us the image of your glory and graft us into the risen life of your son jesus christ our lord amen and as we continue in prayer we pray for the church for the world and for all people according to their needs and as we pray for the church we pray for june our bishop for martin and bev and for all who minister to us for all who exercise a vocation amongst us Lord, we give you thanks for all who you have sent to lead us, all who you have sent to give us an example of how we should live our lives. We pray that we may emulate that in our living, that we may be conformed to the likeness of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for peace particularly praying for peace in areas of conflict as we continue to pray for the people of Ukraine and Russia. As we recognise that our Lord Jesus Christ said, peace I give you. But that peace begins with us. And as we foster peace within ourselves, we nurture peaceful families. As we nurture in peaceful families and individuals, we nurture peaceful communities, and from there we nurture peaceful nations. Lord, give peace to those who are troubled at this time, particularly those in areas of conflict. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, for the lost, the lonely, the frightened. And the sad. But as they cry out to you in their darkness and times of uncertainty, that they may see a glimmer of hope, the hope that we know is the presence of God in every situation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, praying especially this night for those who have died recently, for our own departed loved ones and those whose anniversary of death falls at this time. We pray that through God's love and goodness and mercy, which does endure forever, that they may rest in peace. And in due season, we may join with them as we see your face, O Lord, in glory. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And in a moment of stillness, we bring before God all that rests heavy on our hearts and minds this night. unite our prayers the prayers of one another and with the whole universal church as we pray together the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Risen Christ, for whom no door is locked, no entrance barred, open the doors of our hearts that we may seek the good of others and walk the joyful road of sacrifice and peace. To the praise of God the Father. Amen.
Almighty Father, you have given us your only Son to die for our sins and to rise again for our justification. Grant us so to put away the leaven of malice and wickedness, that we may always serve you in pureness of living and truth through the merits of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Eternal God, source of all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works, give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that we may willingly obey your commandments, and that free from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We pray the third collapse together. Lighten our darkness, Lord, we pray, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night, for the love of your only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The Lord bless us and protect us from evil, and keep us in eternal life. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And the peace of God, which is beyond all understanding, guard your hearts in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Thank you all for bearing with us as we share together in evening prayer in a slightly different way due to holidays and various things we're unable to meet on Zoom, but nonetheless, we were able to pray together in this way. So thank you all very much for joining us, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>